Naturally, I was terrified at this life-changing news, which I didn't feel entirely prepared for. The thought and possibilities in my head all day were both emotionally exciting and tormenting. I was honestly ready to drop everything and overwrite any future plans. Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, she faked a pregnancy for a relationship test. Am I the a-hole? But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. This video is a perfect illustration of a couple of things. Always use protection and dispose of your protection yourself. Do not trust a woman's, I'm on the pill. Take your time and date a woman for at least four to five years and reasonably and rationally look for red flags. Finally, when you find one so big it belongs in a communist May Day parade, don't second guess yourself. Basically, run. Let's begin the journey. My girlfriend, 26, female, and I, 24, male, have been in relationship for six months, though we're not living together. Good for you. You're not one of those guys who's needy, who's afraid to be alone, and lets her move in in less than a freaking year. While I was at work, she texted me asking, what would you do if I was pregnant? Oh, that question never ends well. If it had been me, I probably would have replied with something like, Who are you? Do I know you? I replied that I would think she was lying due to medical improbabilities, and she responded, Well, I am. Naturally, I was terrified at this life-changing news, which I didn't feel entirely prepared for. Uh, of course not. You've been dating her for six months. For many of us, this would have been, oh, I don't know, a shocker. The thought and possibilities in my head all day were both emotionally taxing and tormenting. I was honestly ready to drop everything and overwrite any future plans I had to shift focus onto the coming baby. Later, she told me how she was unsure if she wanted me to be around the baby, which sent chills down my spine. She said something along the lines of, could visit sometimes, which also made more comments about how she didn't want to talk about the topic right then. At this point, I was in an uphill battle to understand what the hell was happening and why I was suddenly semi-cut off from my future child. All right, this gentleman is what we call a massive E. coli test. This woman is obviously getting off on creating an emotional roller coaster situation and drama. The topic was the only thing on my mind. Mentally, this was stressing me out, and physically, I appeared exhausted. It was really affecting me at work, and I was probably visibly distracted. Distracted? Really? Uh, who wouldn't be? On my way home, we were on a phone call when she said, I'm not actually pregnant. She talked about how it was a test and I passed. She said she loves me and none of it was real, adding, it's okay if you're mad at me. 
I'm not okay with what just happened today. Emotional, damn it! Nor did I deserve it. No, brother, you did not. It was very real situation for me, and I was ready to make changes. Is this normal? Or All right. I get you have a personal responsibility to the child. However, it would be way too early to change your purpose, your life, and your goals, especially before demanding a NIP test, as in NIPP, which stands for Non-Invasive Prenatal Paternity Test, to determine if the child was even yours. Even if it was yours, the way she went about this, trust me guys, you don't want to marry or even live with a woman like this. You think you see manipulative behavior now, but it will be far worse down the road. No, you are not an a-hole. Get rid of this chick like yesterday. What she did was toxic, manipulative, controlling, and downright cruel. Get out now. Do not pass go. Do not collect your $200 and block her on everything. Plain and simple. If you are the 66.9% of men who find value in my channel and the 33.1% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel, so send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link or the story to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and enjoy another immediately. Until next time.